How do you go from here to here? In this video, I'm going to show you how to import or add a YouTube end screen, the five types of elements you can add, and the best way to time and place your different end screen elements. Stay tuned to the end where I show you some of the best practices for adding end screens to YouTube videos. Hi, my name is Herman Drost. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you're notified every time I upload new content. There's three ways to add an end screen to a YouTube video. Number one, when you upload the video. Number two, from the videos page in YouTube Studio. And number three, from the YouTube video editor. I've already uploaded a new video, so I'm just gonna show you how to add an end screen from the YouTube Studio. Click on videos in YouTube Studio. Select the video you wish to add an end screen to. So I'm going to select this one, click details, click end screen. You can see I've got different templates here. I can import from my latest video. I can select this template, one video, one subscribe. I've got one playlist, one subscribe, two videos side by side. One video, one playlist, and one video, one playlist, and one subscribe. These will be overlaid on top of the video in the last 20 seconds. So just make sure when you create your video that the last 20 seconds are for your end screen template. Typically, I just import the end screen from my latest video, which is one video and a subscribe button. So I just choose this template. Let's try this template of two videos. So if I click on that, I can see that these two videos are overlaid on top of my video in the last 20 seconds. One is best for viewer and one is the most recent upload. So I can change these if I want to. And also I can move these around. So I can move it to the bottom so it's away from my face and move this one maybe to the top so it's not on my face. You also have the option to use a grid, which you see now. I've got show grid, snap to grid, snap to element. If I turn off show to grid, then I don't see the grid anymore. So I'm gonna check that back on, and now you see the grid. I can also add new elements. If I wanna change one of these elements, I just click on the element. Like here it says best for viewer, so I just click on that. Then I can choose a specific video if I want. Currently I've got the video how to write a good script for a YouTube video. So I just click the pencil icon then I can choose a different video. I can put my URL on here or any video on YouTube. So I can just select uh, how to live stream on YouTube. And here's my video how to live stream on YouTube. I can also add new end screen elements such as a subscribe button or an associated website. I can click on element up here or I can click on element down here. So I click on element. I can add a video, playlist, subscribe button, channel, or an associated website link. Click subscribe, and here I've got my subscribe link. I'm going to remove best for viewers, so I'll highlight that, click trash. Now I've just got the subscribe link, and I've got my video. So on the subscribe link, I can just move over here, anywhere on the overlay. Perhaps I want to use another element, like a playlist. Just click on element, playlist, and I can choose from any of my playlists. So I'm going to choose this playlist, How to Get Discovered on YouTube. And here's my playlist. If I want to promote another channel, just click on Element, click Channel, add the name of the channel, click Search, and here I've got my channel. So I click on that. I can move that around as I wish. And I can also enter a custom message in here. Here's how to link to a website associated with my YouTube account. Click Element, click Link. I can only link to approved websites. And my link in here, it's an approved site. Click apply. Here's my approved website, which can move around wherever I like. Ideally, you want to add a custom image here. So just click on the pencil icon. The image should be at least 300 by 300 pixels. I'm going to select this image, click apply. And here's the image and I can move it around anywhere within this grid. Then I can select my call to action. So I've got learn more, click the drop down. I can select visit, sign up, shop, download, support, order, and buy. I'm going to select download. Up here it says at least one element must be a video or playlist. So I've got to add a video. Click element. Click video. I can select my most recent upload. Best for viewer, which is allow YouTube to select a video from your channel to best suit the viewer. Or choose a specific video. So I'm going to select this video. Move it down the bottom here. Then I can also adjust the timing here if I want. Then click save. Now we can preview the end screen. Just move the slider to the left. Click play. Here's my video that shows up first. Then after that, the link shows up to my website. If you're happy with it, just click Save. I can also change the element timing and placement. Currently, I've got all these elements that are starting at the same time. So if you want to change that, 
let's get rid of this one how to live stream on YouTube so I'm just gonna trash that then I want my playlist one to play first then the subscribe button later I want to change the timing of my playlist video right when the end screen template appears so it appears at 321.08 then I want the subscribe button to appear over here where I've got that template okay so at 327.05 I want the subscribe button to come in keep in mind you can move the elements around on the screen so it doesn't block your face so I'm going to move my playlist to the top I'm going to position the subscribe button also between the two arrows. Play the video. Now the playlist appears first and then my subscribe button. So now I've completely positioned my playlist video and my subscribe button exactly on the template where I want them. Here's how to add end screen elements to your video with the YouTube video editor. If I click on editor, this brings up the YouTube video editor where I can add an end screen to my video. I've already added some elements, so I'm going to remove these. So just click on these elements, click delete element. Click on this element, delete element. Now I click the plus sign to add an element. Now I can also add a template from up here, or I can add individual elements. So I click add element, and I can add a video, playlist, subscribe button, channel, or link, just like I showed you before. After you've added all the elements, just click save, or you can discard the changes. Here are some best practices for adding end screens. Number one, make sure you leave the last 20 seconds of your video for your end screen. Remember to do this during your video editing process. Number two, only add elements that are relevant to your video. Typically, I ask viewers to watch another video that's related to the one that we just watched. I'll also include a subscribe button so it'll make it easier for new viewers to subscribe to my channel. Number three, encourage viewers to stay to the end of the video. Tell viewers at the beginning of your video that they'll receive some benefit by staying tuned to the end of the video. For example, in this video, I said stay tuned to the end of the video to receive my best practices. Number four, stagger your different end screen elements at different times as you talk about them. For example, when you say watch the next video, you display the next video. Number five, encourage viewers to click using calls to action. For example, in this video, I encourage viewers to download my free quick start guide. Number six, use a custom image of 300 by 300 pixels if you're linking to an associated website in your end screen. Keep in mind, you can only link an associated website to your YouTube account if you're a member of the YouTube Partner Program. I'll place a link in the description how you can associate your website with a YouTube account. Number seven, track end screen performance. Check your end screen metrics to see which end screen elements were clicked on the most. If you get a high click-through rate on your end screen elements, that means people are staying to the end of the video. Did you know that now is the best time to start a YouTube channel? Click the image below so you can download my free quick start guide and get your channel started right away. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.